<laughs> hey guys, we just wanted to uh... <laughs> Alright, let's start up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nevada. I'm Kayla. And this is our channel, Life in the Slow Lane. Uh, like everything else, we are a little bit slow to get our first video posted. We're gonna hope to keep them more regular after this, but this first one is just gonna kind of be a recap to get you up to speed um, where we are on the bus. We got it back here around May 20th or something like that. Um, we bought it out in Las Vegas on April 27th. I will explain in a moment uh, what happened to that time in between. But yeah, this is just a recap to get you up to speed uh, where we're at on our bus. First day, got the <laughs> bus locked and already lost the keys. <laughs> All right, so here she is. <laughs> She's a 1990, right? Yeah. N new flyer. B40. Already started the process. Gotten a couple seats out so far. And we're about to remove the rust. All right. I am real excited to get to use power tools. It's going to be a real learning experience. Right, babe? What? So it's going to be a real learning experience. This little cutie wanted to join us in taking out the seats. Where's your dad go? We saw him drive by. Where'd he go? Oh, hey. No! Hey, no. It's just one thing after another today. It's alright, accidents happen. It's just the beginning. You should make sure that your head is in the So I just wanted to take a second to talk about what she was saying when she said that we, we had, had troubles <laughs> getting it back. Sorry, <laughs> forgot what I was saying. But anyway, so we uh, got the bus in Las Vegas, um, although now we believe that it originated in California or crossing the border to Mexico or something. There was a lot of uh, Spanish brochures and Orange County uh, like little, little, <laughs> yeah, some little, uh, not passes, but transfers, Orange County transfers in there, so, yeah, we believe that it was definitely in California, which kind of sucks, explains a little bit more of the tiny bit of rest that we have, I figured there'd be no problems with it coming from Nevada, other than some dust, which it was really dusty on the drive back, it was flying everywhere, um, but anyway, so broke down in Las Vegas, had to put a new starter in. Luckily took my friend Eli out there with me, who is a bus mechanic here in Colorado. He works for RTD and works on transit buses just like this all the time. So I uh, felt pretty confident getting the bus back if I took him out there with me. So we replaced the starter in Las Vegas. It's about that big. Luckily there was a map out there that had it surprisingly because it's an industrial sized part. You wouldn't think that most places would have that but luckily they had it there in the city so we got it out of Las Vegas uh, to a small city called Parowan, Utah where it broke down again. Um, we spent a day out there trying to fix it, uh, actually got it started for like three minutes and then it shut off right as we were about to leave again. Um, the problem was a fuel shut off solenoid, just a little spring that opens and closes to allow the fuel to get to the motor from the fuel pump. Um, so yeah, we uh, 
both had to get back to work that week though, so we came back, both worked for a couple weeks, and then went back out there two weeks later. Drove out with another friend of mine, took a lot of tools just in case, and a lot of parts. Um, but yeah, it took us about 30 minutes to get that part changed out, drove back right away, and uh, had no problems from there, including coming over the mountains on I-70, which uh, we thought we might have some heat issues there, but took a temperature gun to the motor and it worked fine. Hi, Gustav. <laughs> Um, this is Gustav. Oh, <laughs> never mind, he ran away. Um, so anyway, yeah, I got it back from Las Vegas that night, and uh, we're good to go. Hey, yeah. Well guys, we pretty much suck at vlogging because we got everything torn out for the most part, but we're at the scrap yard right now, throwing everything out, getting all rid of all the seats, going to scrap all this aluminum, get a little bit of money for that. And yeah, like I said, we kind of suck at vlogging, we haven't covered anything at all, including the trip out to Vegas to get it. and everything else but uh we're gonna do a recap for everything either tonight or tomorrow and get that up and get you guys caught up to where we're at on the bus oh, i can't even point the camera at my face I'm tired as hell these things are heavy so while we were at the scrap yard removing all the steel and seats from the bus i uh i almost ran Kayla over here. <laughs> Not really, but um, no, you did. <laughs> so we were we were backing the bus up to take the seats out and I parked it and it wasn't in the spot we wanted it to be, but in order to open the manual doors on the back there's a switch you have to flip over and it seconds as a parking brake for the bus. So I flipped that switch so that I could get the doors open to get stuff out. Um, forgot to put it back. Uh, down to, to the automatic mode where they open from the air at the front and put the bus in neutral, turned the bus on, put it in neutral and it wasn't going anywhere um, so I remembered that that was what was going on with it so I walked to the back of the bus and the flipped the switch for the doors so that I'd take the parking brake off but apparently the bus was on a hill and it just started cruising backwards it didn't so seem fast. like it was on any sort of hill at all but just started cruising backwards towards a pile of refrigerators and scrap and all kinds of random <laughs> junk um, it stopped like this much before so i sprinted through the bus um smashed my ankle which is the clip i'm going to show you next absolutely smashed my ankle on some <laughs> of that steel that was laying in the middle there um could barely walk on it for a couple days but got to the break in time, didn't run the bus into anything, didn't run anybody over, so overall we were somewhat successful with that, I suppose. Um, we did get all the chairs and everything out for Bunch free. Of. Actually got paid to take all the chairs and everything out. We made about $47 on the stainless steel that we sold them, so got our lunch and a little bit more paid for that day. It was nice. Alright, well, Nevada is out snowboarding, I am gonna work on the bus a little bit more. I got quite a bit of the floor out, and it made me feel real accomplished because <laughs> I haven't been doing many of the hard jobs. So, let's see how much more I can get done today. I'm gonna get these windows opened up, it's super nice outside, not too hot, thank god. So let's get started. 
pretty solid dent today pretty proud about it goes almost to the store I'd say that's definitely like more than a third of the way done maybe maybe not I don't know but I'm proud it's only took like an hour again I'll have Nevada give you guys the name of this tool once he is around and I'm sure he's going to be stoked on how much work I got done as well. <laughs> that tool we were just showing you guys made our lives so much easier. So, much easier. Um, so it's called a hammer drill and it only cost us about 30 bucks at a pawn shop. And we got a chisel tool for it which is 20 bucks at Home Depot, 50 bucks overall. Probably turned a 10 to 11 hour project into like a two or three hour project with tearing up the floors. So, highly recommend that to anybody that's having trouble getting their flooring to come up because it just whipped right through it. <laughs> There she is. Six. She just went right and through her. Top is around here somewhere, but that's impressive. In one step, someone melts it. I will speak. Get in, out, and back to greatness. Download the Great Clips online. Definitely a workout too. It's gonna be great. When you're getting worn out from one project, just switch it up and do something new for a little while. Got plenty of ceiling panels to take out, right? So. Why not start there since this ground is getting a little uh, tiresome? Before working on anything electrical, you always want to turn your batteries off. So they're just all tied in together. Probably more likely that they're all tied in together. Now, hopefully that the harness is off because they just essentially pop right out. 
Seem like it's happening though. behind everything here and figure out exactly what I need to do. Bummer. Something for something easy there, but something like it's gonna be an easy day. Decided to start from the middle of What's up guys? Kayla is at work right now. Uh, I gotta work in a couple hours as well, but I figured I'd come and try and get all this stuff right here. We moved off the remaining floor at least and put it down on that end where we already have the floor torn out. We are able to dump in the dumpster here at the warehouse where we have the bus parked. I'll explain that to you guys a little more later. Uh, we can dump about once a week here and just fill up the dumpster from what they didn't. So hopefully we can fit some of this stuff in there. <laughs> I don't want to pay to get rid of it. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Got to know you on a wholly different level when I drove you stone cold sober. I heard all your secrets tumbling with your inhibitions when I carried you home. Stone cold sober, feel emotions drifting to the middle of the night. I will watch you stumbling around the streets until you realize all defenses have been knocked down in the city for years. It's the nature of this beast that feeds on all your desires Take me to a place where they can break me I'll take my chance with your failings All the chaos in your lifestyle It terrifies Feel emotions drifting to the middle of the night I will watch you stumble around the streets Until you realize All defenses have been knocked down in the city for years It's the nature of this piece that feeds on all your desires That is pretty much All where we are now. at so far. Um, we're about to start on rust removal. We just got the stuff from Home Depot to seal up the windows. Uh, I actually did just cut a big hole in the floor and we found out there's a bunch of rust under there on a couple of the beams. So I have a video of how we fixed that with my friend Roscoe. He's a welder. 
hopefully he'll be willing to help me out with that. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Like and like and subscribe. Uh, we don't have a Patreon yet, but we probably will eventually. Um, you can follow us on Instagram as well. Try to keep you up to date with pictures on there. That's life in the slow lane underscore bus life. Uh, and yeah. Thanks for watching our video. Hope it wasn't too long and boring for you. <laughs>